Well, it doesn't stop there. Travel would frequency, intensity, visibility, un, un, unbelievable. Knowledge. Look at weather. Look what Jesus says on your screen. Uh, Luke 21, 25, and 26. There'll be signs in the sun, in the moon, and the stars. So people are going to be aware of solar activity, lunar activity, stellar activity, which it says something. The whole world is going to be aware of it. And on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, Luke 25, 21, 25, the seas and the waves roaring. But look at the result. Verse 26, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of the things which are coming. I'll never forget when I was standing at a Starbucks, Christmas of 04, and I stood at the Starbucks and I was looking up. It was one of those that's in a hotel. There was a TV monitor there. And I saw, I saw a beach house on a shore with a palm tree by it and a wave this high coming toward it. Do you know what I was seeing? The great tsunami of the, the big Indonesian earthquake. I was watching someone was standing there with their phone filming and they had uploaded it and the great tsunami that wiped out all those people, these people were up on a cliff and they filmed it happening. Look what this verse says. People's hearts will fail them from fear, seeing the things that are coming on the earth. What, what things are they going to see? Well, God says inescapable climate change is coming. That's number one. Inescapable. Unstoppable. There are going to be climate events that are going to get closer together. They're going to get stronger and everyone's going to see them. That's, that's the characteristic of all these trends. Look at your screen. This is just the, the Daily Mail map of last year's heat wave. Uh, California, 49 degrees centigrade. That was like 130 degrees in Death Valley. Canada, heat wave. Canada, I mean, Canada touches the Arctic Circle. 70 people died from the heat last summer in one event. Uh, Algeria, 51 degrees in the desert. Sweden had forest fires. They are on the Arctic Circle. Uh, Greece had wildfire fires where 79 people died running into the Aegean Sea because this brush fire came down the hill in Athens so fast it killed 79 people. Japan, a huge heat wave in Tokyo with all the air conditioners running, 65 people died. The world is on fire. The frequency of weather events, the intensity of the droughts and everything else, the visibility the world is going to be watching. How do you like this? This was last summer. We were there, record 108 degrees in Paris. 108 degrees? They never recorded 108 degrees in history. There's gonna be global weather events that are gonna get closer, stronger. People are gonna watch them. And actually what it said in Luke 21 is people are gonna die of heart attacks seeing what's coming. Number four, the trend of global communication. This is what Revelation says, and, and Revelation is talking about uh, the events that Ezekiel, Daniel, and Zechariah, and Isaiah all describe. This is what it says in Revelation 11, 9. Then those from the peoples, tribes, tongues, and nations. What, what's that? That's code for everybody on the world. This visibility. Everybody. This is going to be an event that everybody's going to watch. That's what it's saying will see their dead bodies. Who is this? This is chapter 11 over here in the tribulation. In Revelation 11, we have the two witnesses. These, these prophets from God that call down fire from heaven and, and cause there to be no rain on the earth, kind of doing things that Elijah and Moses did. The Antichrist, who, who meets them, these two witnesses, is going to do something. Look what it says. He will not allow their dead bodies to be put in the graves. And those who dwell on the earth, again, it's global, the visibility. Those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them, make merry, and send gifts to one another. Because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth. When in history has it been possible for people anywhere on the earth to send gifts to everybody? Uh, we call it Amazon Prime, don't we? 
I mean, you can buy anything almost anywhere and you can see what's going on everywhere. Let me show you one quick slide. That was yesterday at 4.30 p.m. All the blue are viewers and all the green dots are broadcasters. What, what is that? Facebook Live. You know, we're in isolation quarantine. Bonnie and I watched John MacArthur's services in Los Angeles on Facebook yesterday morning service, last night evening service. We were, and, and the little bubbles were coming up, all those people's hearts and likes and comments were just buzzing across there, thousands of them. Look at that map. Right now, there's not a continent untouched. Facebook Live, people can take their phones and film. And you know what I think is going to happen when those two witnesses are killed and, and their bodies are laying there? People are going to be there and they're going to be filming and it's going to be posting and people are going to be watching it live. And all of a sudden, do you remember what happens? After three and a half days, the Lord resurrects them and raptures them out. They go, ooh. I can just see the people with their Facebook Live going, wow, look at that. I wonder what's happening. That's the world we live in. Did you know that was explained 2,000 years ago? There would be global travel, global explosion of knowledge, global weather events, and global communication. Not just audio, video. It says they see.